uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans. It's Earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to channel. I'm Bush Kondo. We're talking about the Z-52, the Tier 10 German destroyer in World of Warships. Now, it's a boat that I haven't played a lot of until very, very recently. I had it years ago, uh, took a three-year break, came back, and it was a completely different landscape where the Z-52 was really struggling. The 10.5K Torps aren't really that long range anymore. There's so much radar in the game. CVs are so prevalent that you've really, you know, your, your stealth is not enough. You're not really the boat you used to be. So I shelved it. I didn't touch it. Then I read a uh, post on the Discord server of the clan that I'm in, OzNZ by Moggy, and he talked about this Z-52 gunboat build. And I thought that sounded kind of crazy. The Z-52's HE's bad and he's... I didn't realize, but they buffed the pen on the HE from 21, which is unable to pen anything but DDs and superstructure on BBs, to 30 to 32 millimeters, uh, where you can now pen almost all the cruisers and some of the BBs. They're Moggy's words, not mine. And what it means is you become a very effective gunboat, especially against cruisers. Your AP, German AP, as a lot of people know, is absolutely sensational. And if you rotate the gunboat through, you're going to get a lot of fires. Let's let's watch. This is in-game action here. Talk us through this one, Bushka. has gone down. John Bart's got no fires left. Let's give him another one. Now that's two fires, and that's your damage. You can see, look at the damage. He's bleeding out like a to shoot out at the moment. Stuck bazunki. Um, and what you want to do is exactly what I'm doing here. Put lots of HE damage into this is these. A really fun build. Yeah, hey, this is the first game I played in it, and it was very, very effective. It's also got all the old stock in trade that the Z-52 has always had. There's a push here coming from the Yamato and the Vladivostok. Uh, I've got super low health, and that synergizes with my adrenaline rush, uh, which means the lower your health, the more damage you can do, the faster your guns find, the faster your torps reload. And you'll see that I fire the torps off in case they do push up. I'm expecting they will. And that's a 1 minute 10 reload, so that's 20 seconds off our normal reload of 1 minute 30. Uh, and watch the guns fire here. Now, the HE only does, I think it's about 1,500 damage, which isn't a lot, but your AP does 3K. Um, what I'm going to do is basically get fires. Get fires on targets, and then cycle through to the next target and get fires on that target. And you can see how this works. We get a couple of fires, and we get three fires in the Yammer. Now, why is it so good at setting fires? Well... Because you've got six guns and they fire every three seconds, or in this case, every two seconds, because we've got such a massive reload buff from our adrenaline rush, you have a 10% fire chance on each HE shell. Uh, that means that basically with flags and the demolition expert, you can get like 12%, 13% fire chance actually. And you throw enough leather that you can make those punches really stick and sting. You see we get another fire there. Uh, and then we started this out with no fires and we've now got seven and we've got floodings and we started with 35k damage and we have literally just farmed up like 50k and obviously not done yet. We're still going to put more fires into this Yammer. Uh, and this is what you want to do. You want to cycle those fires through because you're not penning these big BBs with HE really to, to the degree that you want to. You want to get fires on them so that they actually just burn down. And you can get multiple fires on multiple boats like we've done here and just reap the rewards. Look, we're up over 105,000 now. We've got a flooding as well with those torpedoes we launched early. And this is what I love about this build. It's versatile. It it's not that it's so good at so many things, but it's able to adapt to so many different situations. Now, the big thing that we give up for all this is our concealment. But the reasoning here is quite simple. Your concealment wasn't good enough to let you cap fight anyway. You have hydro, which allows you to see boats at six kilometers, which is really, really good. Uh, and that means that you can situationally jump in caps no problems at all and absolutely farm up uh, the cap points. 120k there. So we did nearly 100,000 damage in that little engagement. Let's look at the hydro. This is a Chung Mai. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Don't boats me. I don't know boats. Um, he's going to go to smoke. Now, this is the hydrophonic uh, is hydroacoustic where I think it's hydrophonic. I'm losing my mind. Um, 
we basically drive right up next to this Chiang Mai and we pop our hydro. That means that anything within six kilometers, whether it's behind an island, in smoke, on the open water, is going to get spotted. And that's wonderful because that allows us to farm them. Now, obviously, the problem we have here is this build extends your range out. So you've got to be very careful with that. Uh, that means you're at 14.5k range, which means that Azumo to the north is actually going to be able to see me if I start firing. So I'm going to have to pull up and go into smoke. Now, I screwed up my angles a bit there because I had to turn away to not run into the island. Uh, and that means that I've only got the front two guns on the Chung Mai at the moment, and that was to get the torps off. I should have just gone to guns there. Would have been a lot more effective. Still noobing out all the time. Massive potato. But you can see that Hydro, he's in smoke. Now we've got a fire at him already. We could quite easily have gone to AP there because the AP on this boat is absolutely sensational. Um, we've had occasions where we're doing two and a half, three K into the side of cruisers at like eight or nine, 10 K. Um, and that's just sensational. That's big damage from a boat that fires every three seconds. And that's something that people don't really understand with these German DDs is the AP shells remain outstanding. One of the biggest problems that I think you face with this boat is if you don't use the AP often enough, I use it a lot. Um, once you get fires going, you are better off switching to the AP if you've got the side of boats and just pouring damage into the superstructure. You can only have three fires in a lot of the big BBs anyway. This is the Kremlin. This is the big bopper of tier 10 BBs. I'm going to show you how effective this boat is. Uh, all we really want to do here, we're in a real tough spot late game. We're down two caps. We're down a bunch of boats. This guy has been holding this corner for ages. He knows I'm here. Uh, there is also the, I think it could be a Leningrad, uh, a Kiev rather, on the inside, whatever the case may be. We're going to go to smoke. Now you've got smokes. You can farm damage from smokes. You've got your HE. Uh, here he comes. He's going to fire the smoke for sure. You're going to see we drive backwards and then drive forwards to see if we can't really get something going on. So we're just being a little bit elusive. And all we want to do is set these fires. Just get the fires going. Get the fires going. Get the fires going. And it synergizes with your torpedoes. You get a torpedo hit. You get fires. Um, and suddenly they're bleeding from three different damage over time effects. And their hit points just start careering down out of control. He's dropping like a thousand damage a tick. Um, more even. And you can see we've got another fire going now. And... The best part about this build is those fires and the ability to set those fires. And you're actually going to see he gets frustrated in the end and just starts firing into the smoke blind. Um, and we're really up against it here. Now, we're still hitting him, okay? You're going to see this is kind of crazy. We do so much uh, damage over time to him. As we walk away, uh, we get another fire there and he's just going to burn out. He's literally going to burn out from my DD putting fires and flooding into him while he was at two-thirds hit points at the start of that whole thing. Here he goes. You ready? 78. 78, 944. 79, 5, 94. We're still putting a 1,000 damage into him nearly every time. There he goes. He's out. This build is lovely. It's so much fun. Now, let's talk about cap contesting. Your 6.8 kilometer conceal is your issue. But there are a lot of caps in game that that's not going to be a huge issue. This is an island cap. You can see lots of these exist. Uh, and there's the AP. We're just trying to put AP into that daring because he was broadside. Missing, missing, missing. Uh, I actually think I had AP loaded for something else. Now, the reason I wanted to show you this... A uh, clip is, okay, so that target's gone. Now, normally, I wouldn't be able to do anything with this. Have, let's have a look at who's like 14 and a half K away. There's an Azumo. I'm in smoke. I'm in a cap. I'm helping my team. You can't say this is selfish play. I'm sitting here in a cap, and I've set immediately the Azumo's on fire. Just immediately the Azumo is on fire. And I am making that DD turn away. He is turning away. And this is the very start of the game. We're holding the cap. We're setting fires. We're forcing boats to turn out. We've got our hydro running. We've got a, a great hydro that will pick up torpedoes incoming. And the reason I'm running that is not so much to spot up the daring and stuff. Although, you know, whenever he comes within six kilometers, 
we spot him. Uh, it's to stop any torpedoes coming through the cap from hitting the boats behind me. This is good guy Z52. And you get three smokes. I don't run superintendent with this build. The captain's build is uh, up at the start of the video. Um, go back and check that out and you'll be able to see it. I've only got a 17 point captain. Uh, at the end of it, it's going to look a little bit different, but the important skills you want to take... Uh, the extra 10% to range, the extra 10% to DPM, uh, survivability expert, obviously, um, and then you're going to run demolition expert as well. So here we go. We've done. We're still tipping away. The the fire damage is still ticking away up the top. This is me and Swiss play. Watch the AP here. This is a great example. Running HE, normally this would be what the DD would run. We're, here we go. Let's see how the German AP goes here. How do you like your German AP, buddy? You love it. That's right. You f***ing love it. Now, I've got 40k spotting damage because I just drove into this cap and went and spotted the middle by using Hydro. And this is whenever you have obstacles in your way, you can use that. So I'm going to let you uh, watch me and Swiss do a little double team here on the uh, poor old Lennon as he rolls in. And... Just, yeah, great boat. A lot of fun. Not OP at all, but so different now and so much more effective. Z52, I'm loving playing this boat. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Look after yourselves and stay safe on the battlefield. There is someone in the cap. I'm going to eat a huge bag of phalluses here. Just stay where you are. I've got him hydrate, dude. Yes, that'll oh, dude, he's going to dodge all my torps, maybe. He's coming out sideways, though. Eh? Are you ready with the Swiss chisel? I'm detected. How am I detected? He's, he's close enough to you, isn't he? Is it an auto no, detection? now he is. I think I can tank him. Well, I can put AP into him in a sec. Oh. Oh. That was nasty. Quick's gonna ram me. No, he's not. Good. I am smashing him, dude. 2k a salvo. We just shat all over him. <laughs> that was great. <laughs>